Good afternoon, YouTube family. And it feels good to say that. This would be a video I've never done in my life. And this would be one in regards to how YouTube terminated my channel for exactly 15 hours. So stay tuned. This happened recently. I'm gonna say it all started on a Tuesday. I should not even give you dates or anything of that, that nature, but I'll give you a range. So um, this occurred recently. For me, it was yesterday. They termed uh, my channel. The day before yesterday, which would be Wednesday, I got a notification of a strike on my account. Never had a uh, strike of any kind on my channel because I don't do any explicit anything. Um, my channel would be considered a family channel. I don't use any kind of profanity whatsoever. I don't have any kind of nudity or any kind of copyright infringement. And if I have put any copyright information, it would be in the description listed below. Anyways, um, exactly 72 hours, I got an email from YouTube stating, Hi Shirley, as you may know our community guidelines describe which content we allow and don't allow on youtube your video sephora and um it was the sephora shop hush hall that was flagged for review upon review we determined that the that it is vi it violates our guidelines we've removed it from youtube and assigned a community guideline strike or a temporary penalty to your account. Now, this wouldn't be one of the first hauls that I've ever created uh, with Sephora. Hush was fairly new, so I didn't know if there was a problem with that website altogether because it was fairly new to me and I didn't understand if they had a situation with that. So when I got that first strike, um, the it, it I learned about these strikes where you only get three chances and then you're out like you're terminated and I for the the don I mean I've been sitting home trying to figure out how in the world I watched the video I got my family to watch I got my mom my sister got my husband I got everyone to watch it to see how I could get a strike off of this video and my husband summed it down to somebody flagging that particular uh, video. It could be a troll. It could be something else he says out of blue people that probably don't even know you. That's just flagging your channel. So that was the first one and that was on a Tuesday. Yesterday, which is Wednesday, um, right away, they started going for a sec the second strike. That's the next day. And they said um, the same information uh, but this time it's on the video, uh, the Collective Hall, Summer 2007, which I've done maybe four weeks ago. And they flagged it for review and they determined that it violated their guideline. And they removed it and then that was a penalty as well. Now the first one happened on Tuesday, right? Tuesday at 3.25 p.m. Right, I got the email. Yesterday, I got one at 9.38 a.m. telling me about the collective hall for the summer of 2017. That someone flagged it. That's that strike two. That was yesterday morning at 9.38 a.m., right? That's the second strike for a video that I uploaded about four weeks ago. And then at 10.13 a.m. yesterday, I got my third and final strike. So it was two yesterday, and the third strike was at 10.13 a.m., and that was on my wish regret haul that I did sometime in the summer. That was all the way back. That's when I had time to do my thumbnail, make everything look cute. I didn't have any time of that recently because of the storms and so on and so forth. 
in the back to school and just trying to get, you know, adjust to getting out of summer and going into a regular routine. Um, I got the third strike at 10.13 a.m. after I've already replied and commented because I just released a Dollar Tree. Early in the morning, I started replying to everyone. And then after that, I had no access to my channel anymore after 10.13 a.m. And uh, that was the third strike. And, then, and that was the one that indicated that my channel was terminated. So I go to the community guideline strikes. And um, there's an area where it asks, you know, if you wanted to appeal it or, or do things of that nature to figure out, you know, how I technically just wanted my channel back. I didn't understand how within a day or two from me having my channel for almost a year and a half, a year and a half, it'll be two years in February, never had a strike. And then I got one on Tuesday and two yesterday, which is Wednesday. And then you terminated the channel yesterday morning at 10, 13 a.m. I was beyond devastated. I was devastated, frustrated, couldn't understand why nobody could give me any explanations. And because I have an amazing husband that's semi-crazy, just like me, he went and started doing a whole lot of research on my behalf. I've also did some research just to figure out what was going on, try to get as much literature as possible, who's been in this type of predicament where you had a perfectly good channel and you know you've done nothing wrong at all. I mean, zero. But somebody has a vendetta over you and they could actually throw your channel down to termination. If you never, if you don't fight for your channel, you won't get it back. You just lose it or you just start a new one. And I was definitely not going to start over. Now, I watched a couple of channels where people were in the millions and they termed it their their channels and they fought for it and, and, and things of that nature and they've done a lot of figuring out how to get it reinstated. I've done the same follow suit. I um I actually contacted you two several times yesterday and we did follow ups to find out what is going on, what caused it, is there a way for us to get a PI on who's doing this, so on and so forth. Me and my husbands are real big techie people, so we're really good with identifying uh, certain things and figuring out what would cause it. So we definitely knew it was some kind of, one, you know, individual person that really wanted to flag that, you know, flag my channel. Because my channel is not one of the <laughs> popular ones. Mine's is condensed to a very small group of people that we interact, we support, and we love each other. And I had no problems with nobody. I've never had any situations. No one ever sent me any kind of bad comments or anything else like that. I am a very typical small content content creator that is right in the corner of YouTube where nobody really even knows she exists. But someone had a vendetta to come for me who has absolutely, you know, this amount of supporters that I adore and that, and that I cherish and that's all I was thinking about when my channel was gone it was how was I going to be able to communicate with people that I have a connection with that I love that means the world to me that contacts me that supports me that we you know intertwine and that just really made me realize that YouTube could take your channel down tomorrow and if you have a strong connection with your subscribers you've got to find another way to stay connected you can't just be youtube alone that's why i was so grateful i thought about it that i i finally created a instagram channel earlier this year that was one of my goals for this year for my channel so that i could always stay connected just in case youtube decided that they wanted to turn turn the channel there was no way of you finding your friend list finding a way to communicate, figure out where everybody's at. All of that comes right off. You have no access to anything once they term your channel. 
So um, if you've ever gone through this, just do simple steps that I, I've done without, just minus the crying and hysterical noise that I've created. Um, you just have to make sure you communicate with them and you send them your Gmail account, whatever was connected to your YouTube. And there is a um, area that I can't access right now because uh, they've already opened and released my channel back yesterday evening around 7 p.m. after my three calls to the to YouTube. I will definitely list it down below. Keep in mind when they released it, I didn't get an email confirmation explaining why it was terminated. I didn't get anything explaining that it's been open. It's you have your channel back. Nothing. It was just me checking on my own channel continuously, like nonstop that day. And then around seven, while my husband was on the phone with YouTube, it just popped up just like that. But still there, there was no final say you, you didn't get any any reason for the termination, which is the biggest concern, especially if, if it was something that I've done wrong and I want to know what I've done and they don't really, they're not really going to explain that to you or anything. They just released the channel without a follow up or, you know, an explanation of, oh, you got your channel back. Congratulations. Nothing like that. We've just been very adamant of contacting everybody, emailing everybody, and making sure we just fought for me to get my channel back and I got it back. So always fight for something that you love. I, I realized that I really adore my channel. My channel means the world to me and there was no way of me starting over. And if you love something, you will fight for it. And and that was one of my one of my learning experience for this year. For you to wake up one day and for you to get a strike and then the next day you get two strikes and for someone to shut something that has become part of you, you'll, you'll figure out what to do, especially if you're one of the ones that are, are always out there dishing out something weekly or are communicating or supporting. So definitely would encourage you guys to always fight for your channel and just take the correct steps on how to get your channel back. So definitely... I'll have that um, their phone numbers if they're still working listed below. I'm not sure when you guys are gonna watch this. This happened to me in October 2017, uh, the 10th. I will never forget. It's gonna be a part of a a mark of my life because it was that serious. It was that detrimental. It was a big part of me that fell off the face of the earth for about 15 hours so definitely you guys I had to do this this is fresh this is me the next day because it happened last night when they finally reinstated my channel so I just wanted to give you a raw uncut feeling that I had of, of me losing my channel and I would never want even for my worst enemy to go through what I go to especially if you have a bond and a connection with the people that you communicate with, uh, you communicate with weekly, daily, so on and so forth. So I'm grateful that I have zero strikes, that I'm able to do my holiday videos. I was crying because I had so much things that were gonna happen for December. Dez party is coming up this weekend. I was gonna vlog it so you guys could see Dez. He finally turned one, and you guys were gonna be able to see how he looked and. And everything and I was boohoo crying because I was not gonna be able to show you guys Dez's first birthday party <laughs> like the last thing you guys were gonna see was just the things that I hauled for his birthday and and that was it so I'm grateful to have my channel back and I pray to God it doesn't happen again or at least give us an understanding of what happened or a way for that to not occur again because the anxiety levels that I had yesterday were unreal so I'm gonna cut it down now I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my videos I gotta go ahead and record an empties and also a couple of items came in so I'll have another haul for um for elf and bath and body works two small hauls I think I'm gonna combine them together or separate them but I'm very grateful to have my channel back and I'm grateful to have you guys so Continue on being a blessing to others and remember
Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.